Hey, Leo, what's going on? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and all the people who like to cross watch us. We know you like us. Just admit it. Hi, how are you? This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Isa. I am a very proud Leo, and they also call me the Mama Leo around here. This is my little baby, Petunia. You're probably going to see her coming up and down. So please, if cats annoy you, promptly leave my space. Thank you. Bye. Um, anyway, for those of you that are still here, welcome. We're going to take a look at what to expect for May. All right. Um, I'll take a look at astrological energy, things coming your way, money, love, career, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, take what resonates for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. If nothing resonates here on this video, I have lots and lots of other videos that may resonate for you. Okay. Um, all of my stuff is timeless. Feel free to poke around. Um, or you can jump to my other channel. It's called Tarot with Isa. I have a lot of different pick a cards and stuff over there. Maybe something there will resonate for you. Alrighty. Down in the description box is all the stuff about where you can find me on different social media platforms. Um, I'm having a lot of issues with people duping my profile. So I'm just going to say very quickly, guys, I never, ever, ever, okay, I don't even talk like these people talk. Um, I never reach out to people in their DMs. I'm not like, what's your star sign? I'm not, I don't ask anything astrologically of people. I don't do readings right now, okay? And everybody here will tell you if you're new, I am not doing readings. I open them up a couple of times a year, maybe like four, um, and like one time each quarter. And I just did them in like January or February. And uh, I announce it here and I announce it on my Instagram. Now, I am on TikTok where a lot of these scammers are. Unfortunately, I do have a membership thing over there. So if you do want to join the membership there, um, you will get readings with me in like a private live chat. Okay. So you can go check that out, but definitely go through my link tree. Don't go looking for me because there's like 10,000 copies of me. Okie dokes. Okay, cool. Let's jump into it, guys. I want to get to this. I'll talk about my Rose Forever stuff in just uh, like a few minutes, guys. I have a lot of stuff here that I want to um, introduce you to if you're looking for gifts for your mother or someone you love so much for Mother's Day. All right. Okay, let's get into it. All right. So let me just say, yay. Thank God I have a <laughs> I have a lovely Taurus placement. So Taurus and Venus is Ooh, I feel the glow up. But still, um, if you have a Taurus and Venus placement, this energy working for you is the flow. Okay. Um, harmony, uh, definitely like indulgent energy is the same as Venus and Taurus. Um, Venus is actually the ruling planet for Taurus and Libra. So if you have those placements, you might have a really beautiful month ahead of you. Okay. So, um, the trine is all about flow. It's all about things being in benefit for you in the month of May, which is really beautiful. There's going to be a lot of ease. There's going to be what we like to say dende when it comes to capoeira. It's like oil, you know, sweet oil that makes things move beautifully. So there's going to be a lot of that. There's things really energetically supporting you um, when it comes to the astrological energy for May. And you may even feel really energized. Okay. So there's a lot of beautiful help there. We also have the Virgo, the alchemist, which is going to be the energy that's going to be most challenging for you. And why is that? Because you want to be at ease and Virgo is very like put things in order, make it rigid, make it calculated. Let's make it perfect before we do things. But the universe is calling for you at this time in this month uh, Leo to let go, be in the flow. You know, if it, if it wants to go left, go left. If you want to go to the art museum, definitely. This is the time to be in that self-care, deep self-care, glow ups, taking yourself out, taking time to stop and smell the roses. You don't have time to sit and calculate all the shits. Okay, Leo, that's just not what you're, what you're up to, but this is the challenging energy because it wants to refine things. It wants to maybe sometimes 
curate and make it perfect in a certain way. But as I said, the energy is asking for you to accept as it is, right? The beauty of everything surrounding you um, as it is, including your own self, Okay, this would be a really good time, I think, for some of you to be on a self love journey as well. Let's look at the world number 29. What's beautiful about this card is that it turns into 11 when you end up um, adding nine and two. And if I remember right, this has something to do with the internet too. It's almost like the world card, but it says expansion opening up. How beautiful is that? I did this pre shuffle beforehand, so I haven't really looked at these guys. I literally just kind of stuck them in a pile and was like, okay, press go. <laughs> All right. In the upright, it says the man in this picture is looking out over the bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing, as I said before. The world also in tarot indicates that we're, um, we're done with a cycle and we're beginning a, a new chapter, okay? Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster. So get ready to gobble it up. It actually says gobble. Okay, here's the affirmation. And maybe you can use this affirmation for the month, okay? My life expands into boundless horizons with unlimited powerful energy. A world of possibilities is open to me now. Mm, I love this. I love this energy for you guys. And you know what? I actually wanted to get one of these cards out and I didn't. So let me do it now while I'm actually thinking about it, okay? This is from the Moonology Message Oracle. What do we got for May for Leo, please? That's like four cards. Can I just have one? Can I just have one card, please? Okay. There we go. Process your feelings, howl at the moon. Hell at the moon. So if you've been sitting on some stuff, Leo, if you've been avoiding Leo, if there's some things you haven't quite gotten to emotionally, now may be the time. Let me see if I can find the one for this too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where is this one? There we go. Found it. Okay. Howl at the moon. The practice of moonology involves at the very least processing your feelings at full moon and again at dark moon. How are you doing with that? Drawing this card suggests you have some feelings and you need to release them for your own good as well as for the good of anyone else involved in your situation. Now is the time to let your feelings show as well bottling them up so that no one knows how you feel isn't healthy, obviously. If you're doing that, then stop it. Consider working on your throat chakra with chanting, breath work, or singing. Literally go out and howl at the moon. Send me a video when you do that because that sounds cool. I want to see you howl at the moon. All right. You're not at the end of the story yet. So this card can't this card can't tell you what the end will be. It's up to you to create it. But part of that journey toward your answer involves you releasing your throat chakra and expressing yourself. If the situation or your life feels blocked right now, process your feelings. Sorry, processing your feelings could be the key to unblocking. Feel them and deal with them. Negativity blocks your powers. The additional meanings of this card are facing your fears, doing your shadow work, 
talking to a counselor, talking it out with friends, music that will be healing for you. Um, and to do your best to not insist that things go the way you need or you want them to. Okay. Now it says, um, the goddess Kali is strongly felt when I, I ruminate on this card. That's what the person who wrote this says. She doesn't care about niceties. She'll howl at the moon if she needs to. Okay. So I do like this. There's releasing, there's new beginnings. There is getting, putting yourself out there. Maybe some of you are planning on expanding your presence on the internet, you know, or networking socially with people having new beginnings. It's beautiful energy guys. All right, let's take a look at some money, 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 money. Okay. I love this because you have the spiral and then you have the tree. Um, let's see. So some of you may be actually moving up in your job position. This is the second time we got a card like this for you guys because I think this came out for the weekly energy check but there's things, some of you may see your social media like trending or like the amount of people that are following you or liking your stuff. There's like an energy that you might be giving off this, this month in May that is like attracting people. Okay. I also think that, uh, Leo, some of you do things that you might see other people begin doing because you're like really a trendsetter and you might actually notice that this month. When it comes to your financial situation, those who have been spiraling and like, you know, emotionally spending, that's going to stop in the month of May. You have the financial growth and abundance and things coming to fruition here. So some of your manifestations for many of you Leos, especially when it comes to money, you're going to, I think, start finally seeing, seeing the fruits of some of that energetic you know, work that you've been putting in when it comes to manifesting. All right. Um, definitely have like promotions happening, creating uh, connections here with the spiral, um, things like um, divinely guided and coming together, you know, ending up right place, right time, finally, for some of you, instead of always feeling like it's the right place, wrong time, or the other way around, right timing, wrong place, wrong situation. So I see things, um, turning around for many of you beginning in May here and getting definitely more stable. Some of you are getting outside more as well in the month of May. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now we have the conflict. There could be, um, some personality clashes that you have with people here. And it says, if you're experiencing competition, see if it's a chance to up your game. Sometimes people that clash with us are challenging us to uh, prove them wrong. You know, I feel like that could be a thing. It says you're not willing to fight for whatever it is that you're wanting. For some of you, you may feel like you don't want to fight for something. There could be some, some person that's also fighting for you in May too. Now we have the transporter and again, manifestations, exactly what it says is things are coming to you faster than you think with your manifestations. So expect that in the month of May, some of you may be doing some sort of traveling jobs where you travel or making money because you travel. Um, and this, it also says this is an excellent time for you to plan or to travel for work. Um, definitely get some downtime, refresh your mind. So you're coming back into, um, you know, into the end of the month or into June in a, in a good space. Okay. All right. I'm almost done. Wow. These are interesting. You have a universe card, which is pretty much very similar to the world card here in that it says, um, there's definitely you seeing things, having some sort of awakening and seeing things from a higher perspective. And what I mean by that is, um, that like, 
we have this saying in coaching, you're the chooser choosing and you're experiencing your own experience. That's when you can actually step outside of your body. This is what like higher perspective is being able to physically step outside of your body and see yourself. I don't mean physically, but you get what I mean. Like look from outside and experience yourself as a spiritual being having a human experience um, and having a bigger picture of like maybe why things are happening, why they've happened, where this is all going, what your path in life is. Okay. This is very like looking at the big picture. Now there's a lot of creative juices uh, behind you here as well. So definitely use them this energy is all about creating something as well. Okay. And I think there's an element of like understanding your infinity. Let's call it that. That's not even a word. I said, I just be making up words and be real serious about them. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So yes, your inf your infinity. Okay. Mm. All right. You have the train. Here we go again. A new endeavor. Things moving on. It's like the six of it's like the um, the six of swords um, going forward, getting past things, creating uh, momentum in projects Um things taking off for you as well. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of wanting to get on track and stay on track in the month of May. Some of you are developing really good, healthy habits that are going to really support you through the rest of the year. Okay. So definitely the energy of like traveling again, life is a journey, you know, and right now you get to experience it as much as your little heart desires. Then you have the emerald, which is beautiful. This is the, um, like the, uh, ace of pentacles. Okay. And it's Taurus energy, which is really, really nice. And this talks about restoring our soul, you know, like getting downtime, like I said earlier, you know, the, with this energy of, uh, Venus in Taurus, this is a, like pampering, taking care of yourself, loving on yourself, balance. Okay. Um, creating strong foundations and relationships, definitely money coming your way too, and work, um, on your heart chakra as well. I feel like there's a lot of healing here too. Green is very healing, very connected to the heart chakra. And then we have the book burning. I just was like, really five of swords here. Okay. So really what this is talking about is burning out the old ideas, burning out the mind games and shifting your narrative of yourself quite possibly internally or about certain situations in your life. I feel like there's a part of you that wants to break free from limiting beliefs, fears, um, but also people and things that feel really restrictive at this time, like wanting to break out of a certain kind of job or a certain way of thinking that's going to be there. You may feel at times like your freedom is, is limited. It, it really isn't. It's really just how you perceive it or how you feel it. So you may from time to time feel the energy of feeling very suffocated through the month of May. Um, and I feel like this is, you know, sometimes we get that way because everything's so controlled in order for us to do what we've got to do in our daily lives. We have to like, you know, we get to get up and go to a job and not everybody wants to do that. Right. So some of you may be devising ways to get out of the rat race. There could be other people that want to control you that are around you as well. Be careful about being censored. Be careful about being canceled, stuff like that for May. All right. Don't y'all go getting in trouble and talk about ISA said, I did not say. I just feel like y'all are ready to say some shit. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are ready to do and say some shit and be like, whatever. If it happens, it happens. If the shit burns down, oh well. All right, let's see if there's anything else here before I move on to relationships. Guys, 
You could potentially get sick. Be careful. There could be somebody that you know as well that gets ill. It could all, it could like be in your family. Okay. I see a deal not going through with somebody, but I think that this gives you an opportunity to do something different. Okay. So if there was something with a person, let's say it was a relationship or like maybe you were going to go into business with somebody or you were collaborating on something, I feel like um, that person that was going to support or be a part of it financially or be a creative aspect of whatever this is or the romantic situation, this may not work out, but you have the pathway and the lover's card coming out here. So what this is indicating to me is that even though this isn't working out, there's definitely a reason because it's opening a new doorway for you to go through to something that's going to be a better match for you energetically, period. Okay. Not going to say much else about that. Now the pathway does talk about us going, you know, recognizing that we are on our path. I feel like the universe in May is definitely going to show you a lot of let a lot of signs and like support you, Leo, to show you that you're definitely on your path. For those of you who have been questioning it and wondering like, am I doing it right? Yes, you are. All right. So the pathway also talks about our spiritual, <sighs> this retrograde, let me tell you what, we're in the shadows still. And you all know, if you've been around here long enough, then you know, every time it's retrograde, I just be messing up all the words. Anyway, the pathway also talks about our spiritual transformation um, and our journey in that transformation. So a lot of you may have some big changes spiritually in the month of May. There's definitely some sort of love connection that's happening here too. Since it's the lovers, I'm going to say it might be a Gemini. Mm, I'll say it. Okay. All right. Which cards do I want to use? I don't really know. I think I'm feeling the the modern witch deck today. So let's, let's get up into it. Um, while I am shuffling these cards, guys, like I was saying, Rose Forever New York, these lovely roses that I have here, I think I showed you them for a hot second. These are my favorite color. They're lavender. The ones behind me are pink in a black thingy. And then I have, I have like eight of these guys. These, this is the heart. These are hundred percent real preserved roses, my loves. Um, and they even sort of carry like a free, like, it's not like, it's a, it's a beautiful, like you can kind of smell the scent just a little bit, but it's like free from any kind of chemically scent because they use all natural um, oils to preserve the roses. They last for up to a year. I have some that are actually, they've been around longer than a year. They've, I've had them for like two years and they're in perfect condition, but, um, the link is going to be down below in the description box. Rose forever, New York guys, there is a code. It is ISA, I S S a 40. You will get $40 off your purchase. Okay. There are many shapes, sizes, colors, um, different types of boxes. I have one that has a drawer that I mean, and I keep like my perfumes and my makeups and things inside the drawer and on top of it, you know, on like a little row, there's a couple of perfumes and I just love them to death. I have so many different kinds of them guys. So definitely check it out if you're looking for something for mother's day. Okay. Don't forget to use my code definitely. Um, and check out the link that's down below. Okay. All right. And there are people here who have gotten them before, so they could tell you if you ask. All right. Let's get an overall energy when it comes to love. I've got the four of cups. Ooh, not liking that. Ooh, two of cups, queen of swords, three of cups, five of cups. How did this go from that to that? Let's see what's going on here. And the temperance card. Okay. What's the challenge? King of Pentacles. What don't you see coming here, Leo? The world. Okay. Starting or ending in a chapter. What's the potential outcome? Six of Pentacles and the advice, please. There it is. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. Give me two seconds here. Petunia's chewing on my shit. Don't you chew my purse. This girl is chewing a straight leather purse. I promise you. I love this little kitten with my whole heart, but she's literally destroying my whole place. Okay. It's ridiculous. I just got this purse and it was literally one of those finds I found at the thrift store. It's a $300 purse in perfect condition and she just chewed it. I can't have anything nice. Okay. I literally got that purse for $20 and she's chewing it. Yeah. $300 purse I got for $20. It was half off and she's chewing it and destroying it. It was in perfect condition. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't have anything nice. All right. Overall energy is the four of cups. Let's find out why. Okay, guys, I'm real curious. This energy is a little bit sideways. It's kind of like starting out good and then it's not ending very well here. Okay. It seems like trust or honesty could be part of the issue here or stability. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the four of cups, please. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, so what I'm going to say here is, guys, there's no, there's this feeling of uh, either I'm never going to find the right person, okay, or this just isn't the right thing. The emperor in reverse is somebody who's really unstable, all right? Um, three of wands in reverse. Uh, this isn't great. King of swords, four of cups. Some of you are maybe growing really tired of a connection with somebody that just can't really get it right. Um, you're no longer seeing that there's any kind of future with this person because um, the emperor in reverse, you could be dealing with an Aries, you know, uh, this person is um, overbearing uh, maybe even narcissistic or very egotistical thinks a lot about themselves and doesn't have the ability to be in their, um, how do I say, doesn't have the ability right now to be in their like m masculine or their divine feminine, let's say. Okay. This person is off. Something about their life is off. And they're always trying to be right about shit with the King of Swords. You're growing tired of this. Okay. Because the Four of Cups, if you look at this card, it indicates that there's something there, but you're too busy dealing with this. So some of you may be distracted by this connection. Okay. What's this Two of Cups? This is some sort of soulmate connection, or you at least you felt that it is, but I want to know what's happening in May. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Oof. Okay, so there's definitely a vibe of like not having an equal um, distribution of money happening here. Maybe you're the one who is ending up paying for a lot of the things here or dealing with a lot of the stuff. Um, and this person is not okay. So there's no real reciprocity here. Um, the, the problem that you run into is that you really love this person a lot, or you feel some deep affection toward them with the two of cups. Now, if this isn't you, this could be your person. That's why we say, take it as it resonates, feel free to flip it. Someone's definitely feeling really restricted with the Eight of Swords, but the Eight of Swords is really a self-imposed prison. So some of you may be really overthinking this and keeping yourself in a connection that you know there's no future with. There's just no future here. This person, they're just narcissistic and they're going to stay that way, okay? And then they think that everything they say to you or they do with you is right. And it's not. Nobody's ever all right. People that think they're always right, mm, you know. All right, Queen of Swords, here comes the talk. Here comes the separation, the talk in May. Yeah, yay. 
All right, Ace of Cups in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords with the Queen of Swords, bitch. <laughs> you like, uh-uh. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Okay. It's a straight wrap. There is nothing left here. Knight of Cups in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. This is just drained. You are emotionally, physically, spiritually drained. Um, you know, you are emotionally manipulated. I feel like this person may try to emotionally manipulate you to try to get you to you know, give, give it another chance. But Leo, I see your mind being made up, made up. Okay. Two Queens of swords. That's cut a bitch. You in cut a bitch mode in May. You're just done. Three of cups tells me that you are going to, uh, reconnect with a part of yourself you haven't seen in a while because this person may have kept you from that part of yourself, but definitely have friends and maybe even family here to help you get through this time. Okay. Why is the three of cups here? Why the three of cups here? Uh, are you, are you trying to eat my shirt right now while I'm on the camera? Miss Petunia, you're going to be in trouble. She's trying to, my shirt has a little puffy thing. She's trying to eat my shirt. I told you guys. All right. Three of cups. Why is that here? Three of pentacles. Okay. Some people are going to help you move. They're going to help you get your stuff together. You got people here that are reliable that you can um, get together with the three of cups. You might be celebrating even that you're getting away from this particular job, this relationship, whatever this is, whatever this represents for you. Okay, Leo. So I see full support coming through for you. Financial, I see emotional support. This is beautiful thus far because you done, da, done, done, like you are finished. Yes. Look at that. Ten of cups. Why do I feel so much relief now that I've gotten here in this reading? I do. I don't know. I feel like this person was stressing you out, my loves. It's just take, 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 isn't it? In it, in it, in it. Okay, five of cups. Why is that here? Three of cups. Okay. You're going to feel sad, Leo, but nine of pentacles. It's going to help you get over the five of cups, which is feeling bad, feeling some sort of regret. I think your person's going to be pretty upset um, that you are out. Yeah. I mean, come on, Leo energy here, King of Pentacles, that you are leaving this and getting on your feet, that you are succeeding, right? Because a lot of times narcissists hate, and this could be a friend. I mean, take it as it resonates, but people will hate when you win, you know, so you may encounter this. It doesn't have to be a relationship. This is somebody who's been trying to peg you down and make life miserable for you somehow. And you're just putting your foot down here. Enough is enough, right? Enough is enough. It's time for your glow up for some of you, especially when it comes to getting out of toxic relationships. Um, I think you've been in your head about this for a really long time with the eight of swords, but the logic is finally kicking in. It's like, wait a second, I'm wasting six of pentacles in reverse. I'm literally wasting my life, my time, my energy, my money, my, my stuff. Just even thinking, overthinking this eight of swords, it's time to just, you know, I get it. I get it. It's a two of cups. It's this like soulmate, you know, or whatever, but still, if somebody is, if a, if they pissing in your Cheerios, they pissing in your Cheerios. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care who it is. You're fed up. Okay. You're finally fed up. And you're like, look, there's just a somewhere over the rainbow waiting for me. And I'm ready for it. Okay. The sun. I'm not going to cry too long. Five of Cups, you got people here. There are going to be uh, amazing things happening for you that will show you that you made the right decision because you have your life's been on pause because of this energy, whether it's a friend, a family member, somebody, something has been 
sucking you dry here. Okay. And you're not going to be sucked dry no more. We have Leo twice. We have, um, we have Leo twice Aries. I have Sagittarius as well. Tell me about temperance. This is definitely your time to heal. Okay. My loves. Yeah. 10 of wands. You're letting go of all them burdens, all them roadblocks carrying anybody else's shit. Enough is enough. Hangman in the reverse. Mind is made up. Boo boo. Pisces. Okay. And I know some Pisces people. Let me tell you when Pisces people get crossed, not cool. They're the type of people to totally cut you off and not ever talk to you again sometimes, okay? Pisces got some guts. They be like all in the atmosphere. Oh my God, have you seen the crystal and you feel the fuzz on the side of the wall? Like, but then <laughs> they'll cut a bitch, right? <laughs> so yeah, there's no more stalling here, okay? Because the longer you stall, look at the more shit that you've been putting on yourself, okay? You're ready for this. You're, you're ready for temperance. This is the alchemist card. You're ready for the change. You're ready to go from being some old rusted, you know, rusted piece of metal and changing into beautiful gold. Now is definitely your time to shine, Leo. Okay, definitely getting away, recognizing something that was hard for you to see before. Because you were brought down, right? Four of Cups, you were just brought down to a certain type of level. And when you get in, when you get into that groove of, you know, weird negative energy, but you end up staying there. You know what I'm saying? It gets hard to recognize that you're being hurt. You're being taken advantage of, you know, somebody is treating you a certain type of way. Okay. You just get used to that shit, but something woke up. Something's waking up in you. You're unleashing the dragon. <laughs> All right. What's the challenge? Six of cups, king of pentacles, somebody wanting to try to make it better, making the promises. I can do better. I can get it together. The fact that you have a soulmate connection with this person, maybe even some past life karma that you're clearing up. But this person, some people are a lesson, you know, clarify the king of pentacles, the world. Yes. You know, you're going to have to end a whole chapter and AKA an entire life with somebody. Okay. Things are about to change drastically. And that's, that's a lot. You have to change your whole world around, rearrange your whole world. I don't know if y'all got kids or properties or whatever, but life is going to look really different and that can be very challenging and that can put us in comfort zones while we don't walk away from certain jobs, from certain friendships, et cetera. Okay, what you don't see coming, the world, the change. It's going to be good for you. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. The death card, Scorpio here, the, the end. But this is going to, this is a transformation for you. What this is going to do, okay? What you don't see coming, eight of cups. You're going to go find a next level of value for yourself, what this is going to do for you is propel, it's going to rocket ship propel your self-love, your, um, your, uh, what do I want to say? What's the word I'm looking for spirit? I can't, my brain's on like, Meh. <laughs> it's on pause for a second. Um, it's going to propel your self value of self, your self worth. I think it's going to change you completely to where you're going to understand that why one of the reasons I feel why this person even happened was because you were at a place where you too may have been emotionally unavailable. And a lot of times we don't recognize that about our ourselves and we think we're doing so much and we're giving so much, but there are times when we don't see in ourselves what our partners have been trying to show us. And that's that we sometimes are also um, experiencing parts of emotional unavailability. But I think also part of what you don't see here is that you're not ever going to settle for the the eight cups again, you're gonna you're gonna be the 10 and get the 10 in the near future. Okay. Potential outcomes, six of pentacles, you get the help you need or you deserve. Okay, somebody's going to have trouble here and want to come back. Um, Ace of Pentacles, though, uh, you know, 
I see you being able to walk away from this and move on. Okay, find balance in your life and ace of pentacles. Some of you are getting new jobs, you're getting new friends. Um, you're getting money here, you're you're having a, a brand new opportunity to um, to be in a place where things in your life are there because you've chosen them to be there. Okay, taking back your own power is a big theme here. Now, um, let's see. Your advice. <laughs> your advice. I love this. Hold on. I'm going to tell you in a second. <sighs> your advice. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay, know that you are that biatch. Okay, you are that king, sir. Okay. If you are, um, um, whatever you identify, male, gentleman, female, whatever, you are that bad B. Okay. If you're a man, if you're a woman, Leo it, uh, strength in reverse, you go on. I told you, you going to unleash the dragon on anybody. And <laughs> especially this person, if they attempt to come back and, fu and fudge with you, I'm, I'm trying to be better about my curse thing. Okay. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Shh. Anyway, um, you're not going to be loyal to this person anymore because why would you, right? You've already given this person maybe years of your loyalty. Look, nine of wands, man. You've been through some shit with this person. Oh, and their wishy-washy shit with their two, two of pentacles. And then we got the five of cups always making you cry and shit while you're just here being all king-like, all queen-like, just seven of pentacles, this person to death, just giving them everything they ever wanted all all the time always doing for them no boo no you're about to realize your station okay so here your potential outcome ten of pentacles queen of wands you get back that piece of yourself you get back the stability you get uh money you get what's owed to you uh i definitely feel like um you know, you could have support from friends, from family, you get money coming through. If you're looking for child support, I think you get the child support, but you no longer are, um, you know, being loyal to people who have not been loyal to you. Okay, my love. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Let's take a look real quick. I didn't say I was going to do singles, but I'm feeling it right now. So I want to do singles for you guys in May. Ugh, y'all are breaking up with the devil. This is so good. <laughs> You're breaking up with the devil in so many ways. There's so many beautiful, expansive changes happening for you in May. It's gorgeous. Who's coming toward the singles? We had a really awesome singles read, guys. If you didn't see the weekly energy check for this week that I did yesterday, uh, definitely go check that out because singles, there was somebody coming your way. That's just absolutely amazing. I know, baby, you're trying to get comfy. I know. I know. All right. What's coming toward the singles, please. High priestess could be a Pisces up. Uh, someone from your past may creep up here and want to have a conversation with you. Okay. My loves. Um, I think you, you okay? You all right? Are you just cold? What's up? You need a hug? What do you need, baby? You want to lay down? She can't figure out how to, how she's going to get comfortable here. So, um, with judgment, you know, this is telling me, um, some of you make, may make a final decision about this person almost immediately when they come back. I think somebody really wants to, uh, get a second chance with you here. Tell me about this high priestess for the singles. Tell me about this high priestess. Oh, this was somebody who cheated on you in the past. Look, if you find... Oh, my God. 
for okay so for some of you this is literally just somebody coming out the cracks that's that's what it is i feel like this person's been kind of like watching you maybe liking your stuff online stuff like that but this is somebody you may have already been with um seven of swords six of wands this is somebody i don't think you really want to deal with but i think they're being a little bit persistent with you and wanting to like talk to you again yep the tower okay suddenly this person suddenly they want to yeah because why because you look good queen of wands suddenly there's somebody here who's interested in trying to talk to you and it's somebody you may have already been with you it could be that you just know this person from the past but you also know that this person plays games and that they're a cheater you may you may know that like they've um they've been with people you know when they cheat okay Yeah, I don't think you're going to give this any play play. Okay, two of wands, because you're just I think you realize like, first of all, this person could be a detriment to my life. And I'm feeling pretty good here. Okay, you have the four of cups with the king of cups. There, there's definitely something that's better for you. Um, and you know that there's actually more than one person here that might be talking to you in the month of May. I think you're really, um, even though this person, you may end up entertaining them being in your DMs and shit, you're really not interested in them, okay? You already know that there's something else for you. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a Leo here. You got the strength card. So you're not really, you're not really trying to talk to this person or tell them about any feelings because I don't think you have any judgment yeah you make a final decision about this you guys that you're you're not interested okay um even though some of you may feel attracted to this person i get that you feel an element of like danger or like i'm not trying to really talk to this person like that because there's something about them it's cheating it's lying it's somebody who may have betrayed you before and now they're back like hey it's been like five years you know i'm different now you're just like, no, nah, if it smells like dog shit, it's probably dog shit. Okay. So yeah, you're not having it singles. All right. Now let me go ahead and I have like 10,000 cards on my desk. Hold on. Let me, where is, um, where is it? You guys, oh, it's right here, right in front of my eyeballs. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's like unwanted interest kind of, you know, I think you entertain it for a second and then you're like, I could just hit it and quit it. And then you're like, nah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Single. Some people just ain't worth it. All righty. They're just not worth the headache. They ain't worth the, the ink the thing is printed on. All right, what do we got here for all my Leos? Your final message for the month of May, guys. Family, I love this. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person yourself in the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. All right. So I love this reading for you for the month, guys. Um, this is really beautiful. I wish you all the best in May. Please come back and see me soon. Um, and don't forget, guys, if it does resonate, please give it a like for your girl. Help a girl out. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that top notification bell so you can find my channel again. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. All right, it's time to turn it off.